this is rap the news and this advice is coming from a dream that I had last night and so last night I had a dream that I sat down two adults that's older than me and I, I sat them down like children and I had a talk with them these guys were arguing with each other it could be you so the advice could be for you you know so these guys are arguing with each other and I said sit down I'm gonna talk to you guys I said first off um, you guys are doing your whole relationship wrong you're not married you got to get married you know second off um, y'all judging each other if you wake up in the morning and you're like this sorry no good for nothing piece of crap that I'm laying with and you say to yourself because a lot of us do I'm laying with the enemy anybody say that to themselves I'm laying with the enemy I can't wait to get rid of her ass or his ass your relationship ain't gonna last because of the way that you're thinking it's ask yourself a question why did you get in a relationship in the first place what was it about the person that that attracted you to them you know is this your mate usually that person you can't stand that you hooked up with that's your mate that's your mate you know uh, Earnestly pray to God. Get down on your hands and knees. Something that I did. And God answered me right away with the Spirit. It's like, uh, earnestly pray, say, Is this the person that I'm supposed to be married to for the rest of my life? And I've been with my wife ever since 1986. 85 is when I met her. So I guess 1985. You know, and, and that's a mighty long time. You know, and I, I know how things go. You know. And before her, I had many women before her, you know, and so it ain't no new school, nothing here. So anyway, I, I earnestly prayed to God and say, is this the life that you want for me? Is this the place that I'm supposed to be? You know, because God has all the answers and God has everything that you want. All of your gifts is with God. You know, is this the woman that I'm supposed to be with for the rest of my life? you know and God answered me this is the way God answered me in the spirit he said you're the fucked up person and and I'll, I'll just be straight up and this is back in the day you know when I didn't know better he said you sneaky as hell you know you a betrayer um you 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 watch porno and dirty movies and stuff like that you know you highly sexual you go out and you be checking out all the women and all of this kind of stuff like that uh, you're this and you're that he said clean up your act first that's what the spirit told me it, it straight up told me yes you are supposed to be with her and this is the place you are supposed to be I didn't even want to hear that that's how I know the spirit was talking to me I, the devil gonna tell me he's gonna tell you no he wants the family to be broke apart but now I know this wasn't the devil it said clean up your act first and then get your wife and kids act cleaned up so that's what I did I said okay the the sneaky little dirty movies that I watch here and there I you know I ain't gonna say what I watch but I, I would say it I'm you know you know I I have to be judged by God I don't fear what people think about me you know what I mean and then my little crimes that I do, I know yours is far worse. Most, uh, the majority of y'all is far worse. So I ain't even, uh, people are so sick right now, I'm not afraid to say what I've done. That's how sick this world thing got. Before I would hide and was like, be embarrassed about it. I'm not even embarrassed about it. All the crap that I hear that's going on right now. You know, so I'm, I'm talking with these individuals and I'm telling them this, what I'm telling you. And so I said, the judgment has to stop. I said I could not get along with my wife. I'm not not that we just argue and fight every day and nothing like. No, I couldn't get along with her right in my heart until I stopped judging her. So I said, you know what? I'm not rich. She's not rich. You know, I don't have this and she don't have that. You know, I'm not totally in shape and she's not totally in shape. You know, I got my flaws and she got her flaws and so I'm not perfect looking and she's not perfect looking. What do I expect? You know what I mean? I had to say that. I, I got to stop expecting my woman to be perfect. 
I gotta stop expecting that, and and so do you. Uh, like when I was on the dating scene, uh, women used to say, "Let me see your teeth. Let me see this. Let me see that." They they want to examine you like you some uh, on a slave auction or some thoroughbred uh, racehorse or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta make sure you coming with it. You you know some some mess, man. No, I would never. If I could go back, you know what I mean. <laughs> I would change a whole lot. You know, I would never have talked to a lot of people that I have I, I did and, and associate with people. I would have just got my life straight and clean right away with the Lord. If I knew. This is the bad thing about us, you know, as a people. We had to teach ourselves and learn for ourselves because there was really nobody to teach us. You know, so we had to go through the school of hard knocks. My children is more fortunate because they had me to sit there and say, uh uh, no ain't happening nope and you know I'm, I'm I'm this parent I'm willing to go to jail that's the parent that I am I will beat your ass and I'm willing to go to jail and I'm gonna back up everything I say and just like I said before the police can come if you want to be one of them bastards who call the cops on your parents I said I'll beat your ass and then hand you the phone you can call them after I whoop your ass nigga and then when you get out Cause I said when when you get out when, when I get out or you get out I'm coming for that ass again. That's that's the parent that I am, you know. And you know I didn't have my brawls and stuff with with the cops and all that behind my discipline and be, but I you know just like it's, the, the 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 Bible is right. You spared a rod on a child, and guess what's going to happen? You never taught that child consequences for their bad actions. And guess what they're going to do? Everything under the sun. You have made a monster. You know, spare the rod, spoil the child. You make a monster. And then the police is probably going to have to put down that monster one day that you made. You know. And so, anyway, I'm talking to these two dudes. It was, it, it's, it's, I ain't going to say who it was, but it's a, a female and a, and, a, and a man. You know, today it would probably be two dudes when I say that. So, I have to clarify with all the homosexuality. So I'm telling them, I said, you know, y'all got to get married. You know, you got to stop judging each other. You got to accept each other for who uh, you are. I said, if y'all break up and y'all start a new relationship, you got to let people show up. Stop telling people what you want them to be. Because all they're going to do is pretend on your ass. Let them show up who they are. And then you see if that's the right person for you or not. You know what I mean? You got the most foul-mouthed, stupidest, ignorantest person. You know, they may look good to you. And people, we got to stop going by the looks. You know, we got to start going by the book. You know, and, and that's what I to myself. Uh, if me and my wife didn't get back together or, or nothing like that, I said to myself that my next wife would be one who knows the book and lives by it. You know, I'm not going to accept any other wife and I don't care if she's the fattest heifer with 20 kids I would take her because she, she's willing to study and go by the book and and that's the only premise that I would get married again you know if me and my wife didn't work out so anyway um, they, they, they was understanding in a dream and some was telling me that in, in, in the dream the spirit is like telling me this is for somebody online who need to hear this and then I'll say it in layman terms. Do not judge the people that you're with. Accept them for who they are. You're not perfect your damn self. You know. Don't expect your mate to be perfect. We only human. You know. Don't put down your wife. Or don't put down your husband. Y'all edify and build each other up. Y'all love each other. And y'all love the, the children. And y'all you teach each other right. You move yourself away from temptations. That's what we have to do. That's what you should do. You know, if you want your relationship to last and your children to turn out right, you 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 right in the firing pot, and and you know, you you gonna get burnt, man. So you got to move yourself out of the fire. You know, and that's get out of Babylon, get out of the cities. You know, turn the TV off, turn the radio off. Turn the internet off if you, if you have to. 
I made a rule where three kids have to watch the internet at the same time. And, and if some foul pop up on the computer, because I'm going to check the bias and everything else on that computer. If I see some foul on there, the three that that, that their time is to, to be on the computer, they're going to all get their ass beat. You know, because I ain't having that. I mean, I got three foul people in here watching shit they shouldn't be watching. You know, they, the kids going to try you too, because they tried me. And then I tried their asses, and, and they all paid the price that they, their asses couldn't handle. You know what I mean? And they're going to try you till they realize that you 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 true. Whatever you say is, is going to happen. So, um, again, let people show up how they are. You know, don't judge your wife or your husband or your mate. You know, uh, don't expect people to be perfect. You know, expect a lot of flaws. The grass is greener where you water it. You know, make it the way you want it make it build a nation edify your people Jesus wasn't sent to perfect people he was sent to the lost go to the lost and help them out let the news